Wade from High Tech Legion, and this is an overview of the Level 10M Gaming Mouse software from Thermaltake. As you can see, we have a fairly basic interface, and at the top is the name of the mouse as well as the version number of the software. This button will allow you to reset the profile to default. The R button will bring you to the eSports website where you can register and have a profile and the question mark will open a help document as well as the X button to minimize this to the system tray. We've got five profiles that are available and can be set for different users or possibly for different game genres. Two buttons that control the LED mode, normal mode, the LED is on all the time, and in battle mode, the LED will actually blink based on the clicking intensity um, that you're using. In the picture itself, the buttons are set up as hotspots, so you can click on those buttons and then you can adjust the assignment on the right. We've got the macro, a single key assignment, defaulting it out, launching a program, as well as two videos that can be played with the buttons. The joystick there actually has five functions. The If you push it up it defaults to a micro, down as well, forward and back is sensitivity, and if you push the button in you get a change in lighting. Now if we look at the profile management tab, we can see that you have the option to save different profiles and you can import and export as well as delete them so this way you can take your profiles with you between machines under performance we have the DPI settings and DPI levels 1, 2, 3, and 4 those are the ones that will be set and be able to be changed with the joystick so you can set those to customize them as uh, to your liking depending on what you're doing you can adjust the double click speed, the cursor speed, as well as the scroll speed, and the lift off adjust. The lift off adjust changes how much you have to lift the mouse off before it stops sensing. In a pro level gaming mouse, you need to be able to lift the mouse off very little before it stops sensing so you don't make accidental movements. As well as we've got polling rate. The polling rate handles the USB polling speed. Most likely you're going to leave this at a thousand hertz to have the fastest connection with your USB port. The one screen at a time button will change the scrolling so if you're in a browser you and you want it to scroll one full page you'd set that. Checking the independent XY sensitivity up in the top you can actually adjust the sensitivity based on the axis that the mouse is moving on which is really cool for maybe some sniping or if you're playing a racing game and you want it to react a little bit differently you've got the reset to default button as well the apply button, a cancel button, and an OK button. Under the macro keys you can build new macros set them up from files, set them on a delay, and save them so that you can then assign them to a button on the mouse. And then finally we have lighting options which is really cool on this mouse. You've got three zones so if you select lighting on the right it sets them all the same but then you can click on one of the other zones and change it to a different color if you'd like. So you can have two colors or three colors. And then you also have the option to set them to off if you'd like to. I know some people don't like the LED lights, but I found this to be really neat about this mouse. This has been an overview of the Level 10M Gaming Mouse software. For the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, as well as check out the video overview of the mouse itself. Take care.